San Amy, my little hedgie. It was a gorgeous day on Mobius. Sonic, the fastest blue hedgehog, was doing his usual running across the meadow-like area. Sonic looked left and right to see if his fangirl, Amy Rose, would show up. Apparently, she didn't. Why hasn't she chased me this week? Man, it's no fun without her. He didn't watch where he was going as he tumbled downhill. Rocks injuring his body parts, which really hurt. Ow! Sonic's leg was not only injured, it was broken. This pain felt like his leg was crushed by a car tire. Sonic tried to stand up, but his broken leg was not enough to support him. It was too painful to move his leg. Just then, he heard someone's voice. Sonic? Oh my gosh! Sonic, what happened to you? A pink female hedgehog ran up to Sonic. Amy? Ow! Ow! Sonic was badly injured, including his broken leg. Amy gasped in shock. <gasps> Sonic, are you okay? Please tell me. My, my leg, my leg is broken. I can't move my leg. Oh, my poor Hedgie. Don't worry, I'll help you. Don't move. Where are you? Huh? Amy? Sonic was being carried in the pink hedgehog's arms. Shh, just relax, Sonic you. Sonic used to like that nickname from her. Um, where are we going, Ames? To my house, silly. Now, just hang tight. Amy carried him in her arms like a baby. As they got to her house, Amy brought him upstairs to her bedroom and gently set him on the bed without hurting his broken leg. She then slowly took off his shoes and socks. Now stay in bed, okay? Oh, here's my TV remote if you want to watch something. She handed him the remote. Uh, thanks, Amy. She giggled cutely. <laughs> Sonic loved that cute, bubbly giggle. It made him smile happily to hear her giggle like that. I'll go get the bandage trap for your leg. She walked out of the room to go get them. She later came back with the white bandage wrap. She gently wrapped it around Sonic's leg and made sure she didn't wrap it too tight. Is it too tight, Sonic? Nope. Amy was now done with the bandage on Sonic's leg. She asked him if he was hungry. Um, chili dogs? Sure. Anything to drink? Coca-Cola. Okay, I'll get that started. She went to the kitchen to make his favorite food. Sonic couldn't help but smile at how kind she was to him. No one had ever done this except Amy. Thank you, Amy. While he waited for his lunch, he watched My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Yes, Sonic is a brony. Well, his rival Shadow and Silver made fun of him, but he didn't care. That TV show can be for anyone. While watching My Little Pony, he saw Amy with a plate of chili dogs in her hand. She noticed he was watching My Little Pony on TV. I didn't know you liked My Little Pony, Sonic. Amy carefully handed in the plate of chili dogs. I love this show. Oh. Me too. Amy lay down next to him and watched the show with him. A while later, Sonic had finished his lunch. Amy watched it in the kitchen and came back. Sonic made a tired yawn. <sighs> he was sleepy as his eyes closed completely. Amy quietly got in the bed and kicked her boots off. She slept with him. A week later, Sonic's leg was recovering a bit, and he had to let it heal before he was able to go back to running again. He was now using crutches to help him move. He thanked his best pal Tails for letting him use them. Sonic was on his way to Amy's house. He knocked on the door as she answered the door. Hey Sonic, how's the leg? It's doing okay. Um, may I come in? Sure. She let him in and closed the door. Amy, I want to say thank you for taking care of me. It was so kind of you. Aww, you're welcome, my little hedgie. <laughs> Just then, they shared a kiss for the first time. Sonic's heart admitted his feelings to hers. They now became a love couple. The end.